Hi, welcome back. Um, this is part three of Rules for Decision. Chapter 30, how to have a happy day. And um, I'm just going to go through a little bit more, uh, the step-by-step -step guide. And uh, we're down to um, the second section, page 625. Um, the outlook starts with this today. Today I will make no decisions by myself. This means that one, you are choosing not to be the judge of what to do. Um, so first of all, he's asking us um, that we cannot be the judge of what to do. So when we wake up in the morning, we're not even going to allow our ego to be in charge of what we do. We're going to be um, allowing the Holy Spirit, the right mind, the mind for God, the, the mind that knows everything and where we need to be and what we need to be doing. Uh, so we're going to be asking that mind. Um, but it also means that number two, you will not judge the situations where you be, will be called upon to make a response. So not only, not only are we not going to uh, judge what we're going to do for the day, but we're also not going to judge uh, how we're going to respond to any situation. So he's asking us uh, not to judge any situations. Um, and situations where we're asked to make a response is, um, for example, text messaging, um, you know, people calling us, asking us if we can do something or um, any uh, in person, any situation where we're asked to make a response during that day. So we've already um, imagined the day that we want, um, all the things we want to experience. And um, this is how we're going to get this happy, beautiful, joyful day. Um, by allowing um, a part of our mind that knows what's best for us and knows what's best for everyone, um, we're allowing that part of the mind to respond to every situation and that we're allowing that part of the mind to direct what we're going to do for the day. Um, so um, he goes on to say, for if you judge them, you have set the rules for how you should react to them. So what he means by that, for if you judge them, he's talking about um, any judgment is by the ego. So the minute we judge um, a situation or we judge a response to um, anything that we're during the day, he's saying that as soon as we've gone into judgment, uh, we've already set the rules for how we're going to respond. And a practical, um, I'll give you a practical situation. Um, it's a just a hypothetical situation that can actually illuminate um, what what this um, what this po is pointing to. But I'll just um, read the rest of this, and then another answer cannot but produce confusion and uncertainty and fear. So, how we're setting the rules to react. Is say for example, um, I was working in an office and my manager came to ask me to work overtime. Um, and I finished at four o'clock each day, and I was and I was in a busy job. And he came and he said, "Would you um, work two hours overtime? We need to get this report done." So, um, I'll give you an example of judgment. So judgment would be initially flying into the ego's mind and saying, "Yep, yeah, that'd be right. Um, my manager, he, you know, he doesn't care about me. He only cares about himself. He only thinks about himself. You know, I've been really busy all week. He didn't even ask me if I was tired. Um, you know, he's always taking advantage of me. He did this last week and he did something else a month before. So all judgment is the past. So all we're doing is bringing all the past into the moment and we're colouring it all over by a past um, judgment and upset. 
and so we get upset so of course when we've already judged the answer will already be no um, or it could be a yes because I'm fearful that I'm going to lose my job so the judgment that's coming in is going to decide the answer so what this um, practical rules for decision is pointing to is that if we can stay out of the judgment in that moment if we can um, if someone comes to me and says Kate will you work some overtime I need to get this report done and my mind doesn't go into judgment I don't basically ask the ego and what I do is I sit with guidance and I just get quiet and um, it, I might just say if it doesn't come directly into my mind at that moment I might say or oh, could I get back to you in a few minutes and I might just take some time to think about it and um, and the guidance might be yes now when the guidance is a yes um, or a no when I'm when I'm actually asking the Holy Spirit for guidance what happens is everyone's going to get a miracle from that guidance in that um, just me going to him and saying or responding with yes that could be a miracle for him because he um, we've got to stay out of how that miracle goes out and who gets the miracle um, but when we're following the Holy Spirit's guidance by following um, by following his 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 guidance um, we have to assume uh, we're told that everybody um, is helped by it so we go to um, our boss and we say yes I'm happy to do a couple of hours over time and get this report done now what happens is because we're, we're in the I don't know mind and um, we've been we're following um, the Holy Spirit's guidance there could be uh, somebody in another office that's working back late that night and um, and that they uh, come in and have a talk to us and by our illuminated mind <coughs> who knows what that conversation is going to be but we might be in the right place at the right time saying the right thing to that person and it's got nothing to do with doing a report um, <clears throat> it's to do with who we're going to say things to how we're going to be used by the Holy Spirit to illuminate other minds to perform miracles by following the Holy Spirit's guidance and being in the love in the loving mind now the guidance might be to say no um, and that could be for our best interests in that um, we're a people pleaser uh, so the guidance might be uh, to say no and if we're feeling a no we'll, we'll sink into peace um, and that uh, if we've if we've got a habit of we're fearing that we might lose our job and if we didn't uh, say yes to this over time we might lose our job um, if we if we stay out of those thoughts and we just feel into the yes um, sorry into the no and we say no look I'm really sorry I'd really like to help you um, but I can't tonight I've um, you know whatever is coming through you know you might have something else on or you might just feel tired I'm just sorry I'm really tired tonight and I'm unable to do it so you're coming through from this peaceful state of mind and you're giving your answer from the absolute peace of mind um, and that's what the guidance is all about it's about responding without any fear of any repercussions of your response um, so these are just I'll go I'll go a bit further into this um, particular instance um, but this is the reason why when we um, fall into the guidance of the Holy Spirit and respond um, without choosing the ego first um, we get the miracle we get the shift and so does everyone else and it's really just about trusting we have to trust the Holy Spirit um, and um, and then we get the happy day because we're happy we've chosen that way